up gang this is Sharday of Sharday No Days Off welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today I wanted to talk to you about vlogging equipment and the cameras that I have used over the duration of my channel I have gone through considerably quite a few cameras and I've been fortunate enough to upgrade gradually over the year and some change that I have been trying out this whole YouTube thing to find the best what I feel best budget friendly filming equipment so I wanted to share that with you in our blog today so let's get started alright my first vlogging camera that I actually started with was my iPad and it gave me pretty good quality because I used the front facing camera but you know iPads are kind of cumbersome and having to try to prop it up on something didn't work out very well so the first camera that I bought was this one this is the Nikon Coolpix P500 and it is a 12.1 megapixel camera it has 36 times zoom wide angle lens and it does full HD movies this is a great little camera. I think I paid $125 for it used off of eBay. They run probably about $150 roundabout now. Um, and you can find it on Amazon or whatever. What I liked about this camera is that you get sort of the feel of a DSLR and a compact camera. It has DSLR style body except for the lens doesn't remove at all. But it is, is it's like a point and shoot it's a fancier version of a point and shoot really the speaker system is on top right here as you can see which means that you kind of have to speak a little bit loudly for it to catch a good full robust uh, voice sound on it but it does a really good job it has you know the dials on the top and around and buttons so you can sort of play with aperture settings and things like that but it's still relatively user friendly you put it on movie mode right here this little green portion and then on the back you can choose between standard and HD video right here you control your zoom on the side of the camera as well as in the front which is also pretty handy and it has a movable screen which you can move out and down which is pretty cool but that in ultimately ended up being the reason why I upgraded my camera because it doesn't flip all the way around and if you've ever tried to do a YouTube video without seeing yourself at least while you're sitting down it does take a little bit more time for you to get your whole setup together so that's why I actually ended up upgrading my camera to the one I have now which I'm filming on it is the Nikon P520 so a little bit newer in class but most importantly, the screen flips out and turns around so you can see it. It is an 18.1 megapixels camera with GPS integration so that you can geotag your photos, which is pretty cool. I actually have never used that because I don't really take that one outside of doing these sort of videos. It does also zoom on the side and in the front, and it does full HD videos, 1080p same sort of setup it I, it is maybe a smidge bigger not very much bigger than the p500 but it gives a great video and the sound quality is really good i don't use any sort of external microphone mostly because it doesn't have the integration for that there's no hot shoe and there's no microphone jack on the side to be able to do that so i do end up speak, having to speak a little bit louder when I am recording but you know that doesn't bother me much any so if you're looking for sort of a camera to start out with your vlogging experience that's really user friendly I do suggest this one one of the differences between the Nikon P500 and the P520 is the the back with the buttons it has sort of the same button setup but the round button right here also is a dial which is also pretty cool and pretty helpful. So I, I love the Nikon P520 when it comes to the videos I've been able to produce. I feel like it's given me a little bit of a better quality. So, you know, I would definitely suggest that. 
when I started vlogging outside of my apartment and decided I was going to do travel videos and things of that sort, I ended up getting a smaller camera because portability matters a lot to me when it comes to my vlogging experience because I'm not just a traveler but a budget traveler. So that means I don't have a lot of space to give up for my camera and my equipment, etc. And that's why I got this little guy, the Samsung NX Mini. It is a 20.5 megapixel camera. And as you can see, it's, it's built kind of like the Sony A5100 in that it has interchangeable len lenses. This lens that I have on it right now is the one I used the most. It is the 9 to 27 millimeter uh, lens. And it also comes with a 9 millimeter lens as a part of its, you can bundle it together which is what I did and um, I don't actually use this one at all because of the nine millimeter capability on this lens but you have some play with distance which is good for me as a travel blogger what I love about it is that it does full HD it has pretty good sound quality and more importantly it has a flip up screen now when you do selfies it also has a countdown mode which is very cool so you can prepare yourself in your frame before it takes your picture um, but I found that this was really great for vlogging because it gives you good sound quality the picture is very good and it also has a space for a detachable um, flash which I also have now the shortcoming with this one and why I ultimately upgraded my camera again is that it would the autofocus was a little wonky for me it would autofocus in the middle of me talking and you would see that in my vlogs because it would be in the middle of me having a conversation with someone while I was walking so I couldn't stop and do it again because it's a travel vlog so it's very much raw and happening right then and there and so that became a little bit of an annoyance for me something else very cool about this camera is that it is Wi-Fi capable and has an NFC so that you can connect the camera to your cell phone and upload your pictures onto your cell phone which is a great capability I never tried it out with that one but I did try it out with what I upgraded to. So you all know that I upgraded my camera in December to the Canon G7X Mark I. And I love this camera. It is great. It is a 20.2 megapixel camera that's also mirrorless and it has image stabilization. You have your flip out just like this. And it's a little bit more compact. It's not as thin as the NX Mini and not as light. It definitely has a full metal body and it's a lot more weighty but at the same time the lens goes back into the camera so you don't have that stick out which makes the NX Mini a little bit cumbersome when it comes to putting it in pockets and things like that. You have to be mindful of the lens unless you're going to take it off and I wouldn't take my lens off I would just leave it there and keep pushing but with the Canon in, uh, G7X the speakers or the micron is up front as well as it has two aperture wheels so you have one aperture wheel that's at the top that you can play with and you also have the one that is around the lens which is very cool. Now, I wouldn't recommend fixing your apertures while you're in the midst of filming because it's very loud. But this is just a great quality camera and I love that it makes things more portable. It too has a wireless and NFC capability. You get the app, the Canon Connect app on your phone and then you can send your pictures right to your phone, upload them to social media great feature because it just totally the uh, quality of your selfie game if you are also connecting your blog or your travels or whatever to your social media the flash on this one folds into the body so you have a little button right here and boom flash so this is a cool feature I don't use hey stamp gang so something happened to the very end of 
the film footage so I just wanted to come to you real quick to let you know that and so you won't be like dang what happened to the rest of the film it was at the end I was just finishing up talking about the Canon G7X which I have right here um, and I it ends on me talking about the flash that tucks in here that was the last thing I was gonna say about the camera and to say that I hope that this helps as you're deciding what kind of camera works for you for vlogging and for traveling and is also budget friendly so I hope this helps I'm actually fin filming the end of this one on the Canon 3 T3i which I will have an unboxing for you for next week so as always don't forget to like comment subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend about the channel and we'll see you in the next one bye